Ladies, this class is for you. If it is that time of the month and you are seeking some gentle movement just to get the blood flowing or to help with cramps, then this class is perfect for you. This class is a gentle yoga stretch that is perfect for your menstrual time or for the last few days of your luteal phase just before menstruation. No props are required for this practice, but you are welcome to use whatever you need to support your body today. We will get started in an embryo pose with the knees together. So you can start facing the front of the mat, sit back on the heels, lower the forehead down, then walk the hands back towards the heels. Allow the torso to rest on top of the thighs here. Then if you would like, close the eyes, shift your focus to your breath. Notice the depth of the inhales and the exhales. What can you change to make the breath longer? Take a few more rounds of breath here. Then wherever you are in your breath cycle, empty the breath completely. Together we inhale through the nose, fill up, allow the belly to press into the tops of the thighs. Exhale, let that go. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let that go. One more time, fill up deep belly breath. Exhale, release. Seal the lips. Either find ujjayi or a natural cadence with the breath. Hands will remove from the heels. Hands come overhead, traditional child's pose. Cupcake the fingertips. Lift the heels of the hands off the earth. Then stretch long. Pull the hips back towards the heels at the same time. Pull the arms closer towards the top of the mat. Make sure you create space between the shoulders and the ears. Equal and opposite energy. One more full round of breath. Then begin to lift the hips off the heels. Send it forward into a puppy pose. Hands walk towards the top of the mat. Release your head down. Very gentle puppy pose here. So even if you can bring your chest to the earth, I invite you to take a more of a gentle posture, a gentle shape with only the forehead on the mat. Find length through the spine, energy in the palms of the hands. few more rounds of breath here. And if you would like to take another deep belly breath, I invite you to do so. We'll start with an inhale through the nose. Open mouth sigh. Seal the lips. Either a natural cadence or ujjayi breath, your choice. Then bring your forearms down to the earth as your forehead lifts off the mat. Forearms are a kickstand here. Make a number 11. The wrists are in line with the elbows and line with the shoulders. Then inhale, pull the chest through, mini cow. Exhale, round through the back, mini cat. Inhale, pull the chest through, mini cow. Exhale, round through the back, mini cat. Keep moving through this. It's a very small movement. You might only feel as though you're moving an inch and that is okay. Tops of the feet are pressed into the mat, energy through the legs. A few more rounds here. And 
Then the next time you flow through your mini cow, hold there and then extend one leg and the other back to bring yourself into a sphinx pose. Pull the chest through, chin is parallel to the mat. Legs are engaged, tops of the feet press into the earth. One more full round of breath here. Think length all through the spine. Then slowly lower yourself down onto your hands. Hands make a pillow. Lift left knee up in line with left hip. Left foot points out so that your ankle bone is on the earth. You are in a one-sided frog here with left leg bent. Breathe. See if you can level the hips a little bit more by bringing left hip down towards the mat. With each inhale, notice how it feels to press the belly into the mat. Then as you exhale, notice what it feels like as you release. Keep with that, tune into the sensation, fill up deep. Exhale, release. Think of it as a massage for your internal organs. And if you would like your next breath to be a round of cleansing breath, big inhale through the nose. Part the lips, let it go out the mouth. Seal the lips. Natural cadence with the breath or ujjayi. And begin to extend your left leg long. Top of the left foot is on the mat. We move to the other side. Bend right knee, right knee comes in line with right hip, inner ankle bone is on the earth. Continue to breathe here. Notice if you can level out the hips a little bit more. If any tension starts to make its way into the face or the neck, go ahead and relax. At any time, if you would like to take big belly breaths, go ahead and do so. You don't have to wait for my cue. With each deep inhale and exhale, feel the belly press into the mat. Notice the sensations as you inhale and exhale. Then we'll take another round of cleansing breath, big breath in through the nose, part the lips, let it out the mouth. Seal the lips, natural cadence or ujjayi. Extend right leg back, right leg is long, top of right foot on the earth. Remove the hands so they come underneath the shoulders, forehead to the mat. As you exhale, press the hands into the earth. Mini Cobra, gaze forward. Inhale, release. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, release. One more time. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, release. Begin to press your way up into a tabletop. Then walk the knees closer towards the wrists and come into a seated position. Feet are planted, knees are bent. Grab for the back of the legs and then begin to walk the hands down towards the ankles. Forehead starts to make its way towards the knees. You can stay here or you can lift the balls of the feet off the earth and walk the hands down towards the blades of the feet. We're in a seated rabbit pose, your choice of variation. Then equal and opposite energy, hands to feet, feet to hands, stretch through the back. Breathe here. Let 
compression through the hips, the thighs, towards the pelvis. Last few breaths. And if the balls of the feet are lifted, slowly release them down. We all meet with hands on the ankles. Then begin to walk your way up and then Knees are wide as the soles of the feet come together for a butterfly pose. You're welcome to stay upright if you would like with integrity through the spine, or if you would like, you can fold over the inner thighs for a more traditional butterfly shape. A few rounds of breath here. Invite the deep belly breaths back in. Two more deep, full breaths. If you would like, the last one can be a cleansing breath with an inhale through the nose and an exhale out the mouth. Let that go, seal the lips. Begin to walk your way up. We will keep the butterfly shape with the legs. Then we'll start to add in a twist. So inhale here at the center. As you exhale, walk right hand over towards left knee, left hand on the earth behind. Make sure you grow long through the spine, then twist as you gaze beyond left shoulder. So there's a lot going on here. The outer thighs are pressing down towards the mat. At the same time, you are twisting towards the back. One more breath. Then keep right hand where it is as you relief. Left hand threads over towards right knee. Big stretch through the upper body and then release chin to chest. Left hand will stay where it is. As you unwind, grow long through the spine. Right hand plants, think length before twist. Then when you're ready, gaze beyond right shoulder. If the knees found their way closer together, just bring awareness to that and allow the outer thighs to come closer towards the earth. One more full round of breath here. Left hand stays where it is as you release. Right hand over towards left knee. This side might feel different, that's okay. Stretching through the back, the back of the heart chakra. If you've been feeling a little irritable, hopefully this will help. <laughs> Slowly release. Hands come outside the thighs, plant the feet onto the earth, grab onto the back of the legs, round through the back. Exhale here, keep the hands where they are. Inhale, pull yourself up, straight spine. Exhale, round and curve. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, round and curve. One more time, inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, round and curve. This time, allow yourself to go all the way down to the mat. If you made your way off the mat like I did, you can just scoot your way back to the center. Once the back of the head is on the earth, bring the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. You can rock left and right. We'll start with one-sided happy baby before we go into a full happy baby. So right knee into the chest, lower left foot down to the earth, left hand to left hip. Then you can grab for either the ankle, the blade of right foot, or yogi toe lock right big toe and bring yourself into a one-sided happy baby. Mm -hmm. 
If you would like, you can find an extension through right leg and then bend back through the knee again. Your choice, so static or movement, whichever feels best for you and your body today. And we all meet with right knee bent. Then release right knee back into the chest. We switch it out, right foot to the earth. Left knee comes in. Right hand, right hip, make your way into your one-sided happy baby on left side. Check in with the hips, are they level? What adjustments can you make? Then your choice to stay here or extend through left leg and bend. Static or movement, whichever feels best for you today. Eventually we all meet with a left knee bent in our half happy baby. Then release left knee into the chest, right knee into the chest, full expression this time. You can grab for the ankles, blades of the feet, or yogi toe lock, big toes. Your choice if you would like to rock left and right or stay static. A couple of more rounds of breath here. And let's take a big round of cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Seal the lips. Knees make their way in towards the chest. Then find a Supdhavada Konasana, diamond shape with the legs, inner soles of the feet together. You can keep your hands on the hips and make a triangle shape with your fingers, or you can bring the arms overhead, making a diamond shape with your arms, your choice. I'm going to keep my hands on top of my uterine area. The heat of my hands feels extra good there. So if you would like a little bit more heat, a little bit more sensation of comfort, I suggest bringing your hands to that area. Continue with the deep belly breathing. Then you're welcome to remain here in Supdhavada Konasana or if you would like, extend one leg and then the other for final Shavasana pose. Hands can stay where they are or you can bring them alongside the body, your choice. Allow the eyes to close, allow the body to sink deep into the mat. Body is heavy, almost like it's imprinting into the earth. Quick scan through the body. Notice if there's anywhere that is holding on to tension, then let that go. Check in with your jaw and your face. Are you clenching? Are you squeezing? If so, release. Allow yourself to rest and relax, to find ease in this shape. And at this time, you are welcome to pause the video and remain here for as long as it serves you. If you are ready to move on, big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, let that go. Eyes begin to flutter open as you find movement through the hands and the feet, the wrists, then the ankles. 
eventually through the limbs as the inner ankles come together and the arms extend overhead. Good morning, stretch, stretch long. And slowly bring the knees into the chest. One final squeeze of this practice, then your choice if you would like to roll into fetal position. Otherwise, gently just make your way into a simple seat to close out practice. As you arrive in your simple seat, bring your prayer hands to chest, thumbs pressed to the heart space, bow your head, offer gratitude to yourself and to the practice. Also offer gratitude to your body. Repeat the words, I love you to yourself. Then repeat the words, thank you. As always, it fills me with so much joy to guide you through the practice. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Namaste.